Hello. We're here again, huh? Oh, Spider-Man. Everybody's doing good. There we go. Um <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how I got this to happen to be honest. Um we got the squad over there. This guy's been doing his exercises forever, and then so is that lady over there. And I'm afraid if I take one step, this whole situation is going to break down. No? Are they... They're so imposing, I don't... We good? Oh, no, <laughs> I don't want to deal with them. Give me away. Yeah, they were stanced up. What was up with that? Anyways, I thought that was funny. I figured that would be a, a fun way to start the stream, figuring out what was going on there. Where did my splits go? There they are. Oh, they're gone. Oh, they're back. <laughs> okay. Live split like crashed and reopened. That was weird. How many runs did you miss? Uh, 2,037 according to the counter. I think that was how many runs we've done so far. Yeah, that was like a mini boss I just ran away from. Let's get into it, huh? I'm ready to grind today. Sequel time already? It is sequel time. It would be wild if there was like a corp incorporeal voice well, that would acknowledge that. Already, huh? Oh damn. Welcome back, I guess. <laughs> first things first. Yeah, today's been a pretty chill day, and I'm ready for it to become more chill. Or less chill, depending on how runs go. Uh, before we go any further, I think it might be a good idea to watch 2037 runs. I think the you could watch the majority of them if you went through the VODs. I think you the overwhelming majority of them have been streamed and like documented, I think. Or maybe not, because Twitch... Back when I streamed on Twitch, I feel like most of my VODs did not survive that. So maybe, maybe that's not the case. But a decent chunk. Times you want some hype. Right well, we'll you. see. I was almost there too. Sorry, Just wait for my art gallery, all right? Spider-Man's here already. Case secured. I think speedruns are great because it can be both. Like a run can just turn from chill into hype at a moment. You get to kind of watch that roller coaster go. I think That's not good. A good time for you to check your to-do list. It'll show you what the white dot on your map here and the white destination marker are both pointing you to the peak department. You'll need to get over there at some point. I'm no shocked. Way. I was not aiming at all for that tree. I feel like this section where you're going to the pizza place, if you fall out of your groove, you're you're just like screwed. Yeah, thanks for the good luck, Oblivion. And yeah, Luna, I'm doing good. I just had a big plate of spaghetti. One day I will learn how to measure the appropriate amount of spaghetti to cook for one serving. Today is not that day. Naturally, you're gonna want to earn On a, it was like I'm really good at making the amount of spaghetti where it's like, do I put some of this away for later? But the answer isn't no, because it's not like a full plate that extra that you've made. You just made an extremely big plate. You had some Burger King, maybe you should get the Burger King sponsor. See, that's the difference. I'll eat at Burger King when they sponsor me. They've already got you hook, line, and sinker. I can't even remember. Oh no! At my birthday dinner, I promised MJ I would meet her this evening. I gotta hurry. 
You gotta make them think they're missing out on something. I can't believe I ran off like that. I must be out of my mind. We are poor. I mean, true. See that shit? That wasn't exactly the new strap, but it was cool. That one wasn't cool, or the new strat. It was just bad. Okay, I could have done it that time. I did do a little bit of practice for that strat today, but, um... Not very much. Just finished Elden Ring. Oh, you just finished it for the first time? I feel like now's, like, the right time to do that, too. Because now you've got, like, a, a couple month break for, before the DLC, but you don't have to wait, like, forever like everybody else. She's right. If I don't pick up the pace, she's as good as gone. Best sponsor. We okay. We can't be calling the best sponsor when Burger King has never contacted me ever about anything. <laughs> and again, I guess any. I've never had a, a sponsor, so or never been sponsored by anything. So I guess any sponsor would be best sponsor. But they would also simultaneously be worst sponsor. Your grandma. Now that's something I'd like to see. If she gets much farther, I'm gonna lose her completely. That wall jumps so hard. Joe's Pizza sponsor. That'd be so sick, actually. I play this on OG Xbox or on 360. I played on 360. Hey, slow down so I can talk to you. Slow down? Yeah, but it doesn't make a huge difference. Or rather, it doesn't make a difference in time. It only has like a very slight visual difference. I was with that girl. Who was she? You know, this chapter opening reminds me of something. The Spidey store gets new items every You went to time Joe's Pizza and it was mid? Uh -huh. I feel like that's the first time I've heard somebody say that. I feel like most people say it's good. But I've never been, so I, I can't say it's either. All the world is my dressing room. Hi, Pete. I think that's the. Th Would I sponsor their 29 minute guarantee? No, I'm not the sponsor. I don't have money for that shit. <laughs> I hope you can watch the stream today, Strudel. That would be good. I think uh, center camera there is actually really good. Cause otherwise I have to claw to center the camera myself. I don't know, I usually don't use center, center camera here because it's kind of awkward. Or like, and by here I mean in this game ever. Forty p and only 10 seconds behind you live with that. I guess it's better than nothing. Uh, that does suck. Oh, this is great. 
I have enough trouble without someone trying to convince thugs that I don't have powers. Hi, Pete. How are you? people say things are mid, does it mean they're bad? It, it depends on the person. The answer is usually, but that's not like, but it's confusing because that's not what mid should mean. You know what I mean? Mid should mean like average, not bad. But I feel like it's part of a larger pro societal problem. I, societal problem, like it's a big deal, but larger like issue, I guess, where people are like, it's like, it's like not cool to ha to think that something's just okay, you know what I mean? You want to have like a hot take for everything even if it's something mundane that you don't actually care that much about. So suddenly calling something average is a hot take and means it's bad. Just my two cents. So yeah, I guess when, when you're looking at the word mid in particular, I feel like you gotta look at the context. Because if I say a game is a 5 out of 10, I don't even think that's a bad game. That's just average. I can't believe I actually got to meet Dr. Otto Octavius. And then you get into, does average mean, like, an average based on every piece of that type of media that's ever existed? Or an average between, you know, 1 and 10 in terms of quality, not really taking other shit into consideration. And then it just gets too confusing and you stop. What's an example of a 5 out of 10? 5 out of 10 game. This is rude, but I feel like Toby One's kind of a five out of ten. I usually give it, we'll give it a six, but it's it's close. That's like the closest in my brain to a five out of ten. So it's not a perfect example. Hey kid, how you making? But like, I don't dislike that game. But I think it's all right. These things called photo op tokens that I want you to find. I've marked them on your map just to spell it out real plain. And Spider Man Three is probably a six or. No, to Toby 3 is not a 7. It's it's like a 6.5. But like I like that game. So you you just got to take, you know, that that's lesson 2. Take the reviewer's perspective on what reviewing even means into consideration. This game's an 11. Being honest, this is my favorite video game of all time. Keep that in mind. This game is like an 8.5 or 9 at the very most. This game is not perfect. <laughs> I think it's really good. Um, and I think the things that are good specifically apply really hard to my tastes and can't be found elsewhere in the same way, which gives it a lot of a buff. But it's got its problems. Pointless photo op tokens are not a problem, though. That is incredible game design. It really leaves it leaves the player wondering. If these are the beginner camera tokens, then what else is out there? And just because there is no answer to that doesn't mean that it it doesn't it doesn't provoke your curiosity, you know what I mean?
I will also say most, just because a 5 out of 10 is average doesn't mean that I would rate, like most of the games that I play, have played are above a 5 out of 10 because most of the games I play I think are pretty good. <laughs> like why would I play a game that I know is bad? I was about to say I think that there are more good games than bad games, but that's like decidedly, I fucked up. That's like decidedly, that really wasn't good enough? Sorry, I know I mean I know I interrupted that sentence like three times, but wow. I was like positive that I had sent her forward. Well, that's the warm-up, so. Let's get into it for real now. Yeah, anyways, so I was saying I think I do think there's more bad games than good games. It's just that all the bad games, you know, why would anybody bring attention to like you know, asset flip number three thousand? Or ad-ridden phone game well, that nobody's gonna play. Huh? That's a clone of four thousand other back, clone games on the phone. First things first. Uh, before we go any further, I think it five out of ten can mean you don't feel strongly at all about it. Depends oh. on the viewer. Yeah, just sometimes I feel very strongly about five out of tens, and it's like a mixed bag. And sometimes it's just kind of mushy and nothing throughout. You know what I mean? Just depends. Oh no, Dr. Connor's class. I got so caught up in what I was doing, I forgot all about Can't it. Believe I'm running so late. Still, I should be able to make it as long as. Help me! Right on cue. Looks I like almost there too. Sorry, Dr. Connor. Looks like Spider-Man's here already. Hope your insurance is paid up. Gate secured. You saw Oh No, Dr. Connor's class before the game came out? You got spoiled. <laughs> then again, I was looking at this earlier. Um, you can spoil yourself on all the villains in this game within like 10 seconds of- within like 2 seconds of playing it, pretty much. If you just go to the awards section, there's a- since there's an award for like, defeat Mysterio, defeat Shocker, defeat Doc Ock, and defeat Rhino, it's like, okay, well... I guess I just know all the villains that are in the game. I mean, I guess you knew about Doc Ock, but still. Time to talk a little about hero points. You already know that you use them to buy stuff from the Spidey store, right? Oh, you don't? Well, then you weren't paying attention. Naturally, you're gonna want to earn lots of them. You got plenty of options to do it. Stopping uh, crimes, helping citizens in distress, promised Harry and MJ that I would meet them items this and delivering pizza. There's some other ways Will I deliver a pizza in this game? When it's time for pizza percent, that's fun. Uh, there was promotional material that mentioned the lizard. There was like a trailer that had the lizard in it. I remember that. Better burn off some calories, or I won't fit in my costume anymore. I really wanted to get that jump out. Remember? Oh no! At my birthday dinner, I promised MJ I would meet her this evening. I gotta hurry. Best pizza chain. Out of the big ones, I think Pizza Hut gets it, but I feel like. Unless you live in like a really starred for choice area, local is gonna be better. Out of my mind. I can't believe it didn't work. What happened to the gods? You gotta hit that, dude. This was a bad idea. My favorite thing about this game? Oh, it's the movement. Easy. Movement carries this game. 
there's definitely other stuff to like about it, for sure, and I've come to appreciate that a lot more after speedrunning, but... Music in this game is... Let me try that again. Music in this game is sneakily good. I agree. Wow. She is fast. For a long time, I had the take that Toby One had the better music. And I think from a certain point of view, that's true. But the thing about Toby One's music is... I... If I listen to it too much, I get tired of it. Which is not really true for this game's music. This game's music is not like... like it doesn't like stand out as being incredible. But it doesn't really get old. And I think that's a good quality. Like, I'm not... Whenever I get to this section of the game, I'm not, like, dreading hearing Black Cat's theme, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, yeah, it's here. Grandma. Now that's something I'd like to see. If she gets much farther, I'm gonna lose her completely. But Toby One's main menu theme... <laughs> every once in a while, hits you like a damn truck. So I can talk to you. It is pretty in interesting that, like, a few of the songs in this game are orchestra and the other ones are kind of more synthy. I think it kind of, it's kind of neat. What was with that girl? Who was she? You know, this chapter opening reminds me of something. The Spidey store gets new items every time a new chapter starts. Aha! Next time you have a chance, Visit the store and check out what they've got. No teleport. I feel like I've been getting teleported like every time recently. I think that's the... Th Hey, buddy. I've been slacking on that. She always says hi to me, but I never say hi back. Weird angle. I, like, was not sure how that was gonna go. Went way too far out. But it worked out. What's up with this back guy? How can he possibly claim I'm a fan? Yeah, for talking Toby One music, it's the main menu theme and the like final boss goblin theme, which I think is used otherwise, but you know. The goblin fight theme. How do you run up the walls so quick? It's all momentum and using your charge jump. I do have a guide on infinite wall sprinting if you're wanting to learn a little bit. It's an old one, but probably still good. Is it that old? I feel like it's it's from like probably 2020 era, right? Something like that. The only thing that I would really change about the content of those guides is I would have input display these days. I, I, I kind of understand why that happens, but it doesn't, doesn't feel good to just get hit out of your dodge like that. Yeah, I have a whole... Um, 
I have a whole movement guide uh, playlist, Ray, if you want to take a look. I feel like... Having more tools in the toolbox can definitely help for mega times and stuff. If you only knew. Why can't we play pool in Spider-Man 2? Has anybody ever tried just going up to a pool table and pressing X? Maybe there's a whole pool mini game that we've been we didn't know about. Can you fucking imagine? <laughs> You go up to a full table and it just it opens like a full functional mini game that nobody's seen for no just because nobody bothered to try. You can earn hero points and like bet them. That'd be one of those things where it's like this is cool, but why is it in the game? <laughs> I can't believe I actually got to meet Dr. Otto on Can it run Doom? We need to find arbitrary code execution first, I think. I mean, this game does have pointless mini games. They're in the arcade. I think it was just a uh, requirement for every movie game at the time. Those are training your skills, though. I suppose. I don't think they're incredible at it, but I guess they do. Well, hey kid, how you making out? Listen, I got a new I just straight up you, missed. Okay? There's these things called photo op tokens that I want you to find. I've marked them on your map just to spell it out real plain for you. Now get to work. I also took a shit ton of fall damage from that. Did I, did I just do that? <laughs> I'm like, there's a certain feeling when you miss a, a, a token or an icon or something by like a centimeter in this game. It's, it's just like, I've had it before where like, I wasn't even sure if I got it or not because, um, it's just like your brain can't comprehend that you just missed it. There's like, you know, you know, phase one denial. It's just that, but it doesn't go away. Well, sequel time already, huh? This one will be better. Welcome I'm back, down. First things first. Uh, before we go any further, I think it might be a good idea to save your progress, if you could call it. I do think the side missions in this game can get a little repetitive, but I think that's just that's just gonna happen if you have if you have side missions. And I don't even think it's necessarily like a super bad thing that they do. Doctor Connor's class. I got so caught up in what I was doing, I forgot all about it. Because you can still look for variations, and there's, like you said, there's a pretty decent pool, and it changes throughout the story. Right on cue. I was almost there too. Sorry, Doctor Connors. You ever go? Wow, I'm bored of this game. Not really. Spider-Man's here already. Get rid of him and get that case. Didn't your mom tell you not to hit girls? Case secure. Batter up. And yeah, it would actually help a lot if certain mission types weren't super rare. I think this might be a good time for you to check your to-do list. 
It'll show the white dot on your map here and the white destination marker are both pointing you to the pizza parlor. You'll need to get over there at some point because there's no rush. Speaking of repetitive, you did the endurance rounds. Yeah. They went too far. I'm going to say it. They went too far with the endurance rounds. This is a good time to talk a little about hero points. You already know that you use them to buy stuff from the Spidey store, right? If you don't, well, then you weren't paying attention. <sighs> that jump was so good, and then I just got nothing out of it. You got plenty of options to do it. Stopping crimes, uh, stopping citizen distress, doing challenges, and and delivering pizza. Season. There's some other ways too, so try different things and see what you like. But you can only be a good guy. Wait, does Toby 3 also have endurance rounds? Does it have rounds? Is there an arena? I don't remember that. I can't even remember the yeah, I got the pause oh, no. timing. At my birthday dinner, I promised MJ I would meet her this evening. I gotta hurry. One round is big head mode. I can't believe I ran For off real? like that. I must be out of my mind. That doesn't sound boring. That sounds goofy and wacky. Everybody loves big head mode. That's why it's never it never went away. It was always popular. Spider Man's here. I'm not sure I ever knew there was a Topi 3 arena. Is Spider-Man here? I don't know. Somebody said that. <laughs> Circus is down? By that well unless i can shrink her lead i'm never gonna find out yeah 100 percenting toby 3 seems like i don't know maybe maybe it's <clears throat> wow voice maybe it's uh better than 100 percenting this game i don't know it would not surprise me if it takes less time i have not played marvel spider-man 2 no 300 percenting Toby 1, probably still a little shorter, if, if that just means 100 percenting Toby 1 three times. If I remember correctly, you just kind of get some optional upgrades if you know what you're doing. I don't think it takes that long. Looks like you're gonna lose me. She's right. If I don't pick up the pace, she's as good as gone. It hasn't even been that long since Toby 3, and so much of it I, I kind of forgot. But there's so much to remember, too. All those QTE fails. What was with that girl? Who was she? You know this chapter opening. I fat fingered that so hard on the way. I went to go split, and on the way there, I hit the right bumper. Attacks coming from a mile away. You can even do different, more damaging moves. Uh, there is a way to mod how pl past Black around. Cat moves, like but I think it also changes way. some other stuff. I don't know, Nate would know more. 
I just have split on my space bar on my keyboard. I don't have it. That's the... I don't. <laughs> it would be a lot of work, if possible at all, to, to bind it onto my controller, which isn't even plugged into my computer. Sad. It's funny because I do get nostalgic for this game, but like most of the memories that I have in this game at this point are more recent than like when I was a kid. Because of speedrunning. I wonder how many speedrunners can relate to that. enough trouble without someone trying to convince thugs that I don't have powers. Oh, this is great. We should just mod this game at a weather mod. This game was supposed to have rain, right? Like, that was in, like, the E3 demo or something? But I'm assuming if that were left in the game, um, GameCube, the GameCube would just explode whenever it, it came up. I'm getting back on my slide cancel kick nonsense. Speaking of old memories for this game, I do remember getting kind of getting like mad at people that would call Spider Man menace on the streets in this game. They'd be like, ah, menace, and I'd be like, shut the fuck up! <laughs> But I would say it really quiet because I wasn't allowed to swear. got to meet Dr. Otto Octavius. They're just quoting Jonah's headlines. True. They just have a bad influence. Nobody knew where I was going, but I wanted to see if I could make that work. Favorite adaptation of Jonah? I mean, it's J.K. Simmons, right? I remember also liking him in the cartoon, but I don't remember enough to tell you if that would hold up. How you making out? Listen, I got Chapter five still do. seems like pretty consistent time save, which is nice. I've marked them on your map just to spell it out real plain for you. Now get to work. Ooh, 
That's the anti-gamer jump. That's the book reader jump. I don't know why my brain went to book reader as the opposite of gamer, as if, like, book reading is any more or less nerdy. Every adaptation since 2000 is J.K. Simmons impersonator or just him. I feel like that uh, speaks to strength, the strength of how defining that was of a role, you know what I mean? Like, he just took over that. <laughs> You were an ice queen, but now you're friendly. Make up your mind. It's called a woman's prerogative. It's in the role In the cartoon, Jameson like tries to kill Spider-Man, right? He like sends a giant robots after him. I was worried that I went too early again. Cause that is so it's so finicky. <sighs> no, please. does do that but he changes his ways in the comics yeah but I'm talking about the show in the show he just <laughs> I don't remember him ever getting over it in the show he was just like we need to sell more toys so spider slayer 5 and this time they're bionicles if they had actually done that I would have bought them just saying so Quentin Beck's gonna prove I'm a fake huh this, I gotta see. Where's my glide? No, I don't I don't wanna wait in line. <laughs> it's been a while since that happened. Ready, Spider-Man? Let's begin. Do you like my gadgets, I'm gonna say it. I don't think those ropes would actually hold Spider-Man back. I think he would just roll, run through them without even realizing it. It's an unknown bug where it takes a while to move to the next uh, round of criminals. So what probably happened is one of the criminals went into the pit. And is it like recognized by the game as such and they'll be running around you can tell when that happens fuck no wait hang on I got a game you can tell when that happens because if you spam target lock you'll like lock onto one of them down there I'm better than you spider-man and today I'm going to prove it your parents never hugged you did they okay that should be fine ugh that was a lot just to get back on track there that used to happen to me all the time, and less now, and I don't really know why. Wait, hang on, I need this guy. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> 
That's Yo, all. thanks for the grats on the world record. Why don't you just give up, Spider-Man? And disappoint all my loyal fans. I couldn't possibly do that. Got you! Not as fast as you white like people up there, are you? You're going to need to move a lot faster than that. Jonah loves him some Captain America. I mean, Jonah's like a closeted superhero fan, right? Hopefully that's the last I'll hear from back. He like, doesn't want anybody to know. Or is it just Spider-Man that he's closeted about? Thanks for the good luck, Aussie. He hates fully masked heroes. What, is he, what would he think about Batman? He has like a cowl. That's like half a mask. I know what you mean though. I just wanted to be... I just wanted to intentionally misunderstand it. about going a different route to this part. I feel like a more direct route might be possible, but way harder. So it might not be worth it. What? Not now. It's like you have something against me. Spider-Man, please. It is so hard to get him to focus on one guy there. You okay? Whoa, no! Great. Just take off, guys. I'm not late or anything. Okay, homie sniper. Stopping? I guess I finally have your attention. Yikes! Not so homie sniper. Still pretty good, I guess, sniper. Jonah's a good person, except Maybe when it involves so. Spider-Man. How about that? <laughs> I guess that's another one that depends on the interpretation. How far is this place? I guess I'm going back to when to my you know, I grew up with the cartoon where he tried to kill Spider-Man, which is like okay. Are you a good person if you're a good person except when you try to murder people? I don't know. <laughs> you're probably... I don't know if that evens out. It's like, oh yeah, he's a, he's, he's, a, he's a really good person, trust me. I mean, he did try to murder somebody five times with a sellable toy for each time. But other than that, he's, he's a total sweetheart. You're the one weaving like a drunken sailor. Did protect Peter's identity from the Green Goblin. That's true. That's true. And he didn't try to murder him in that universe, so he's probably he's probably at least neutral in that in that sense in that wor world. 
At least I don't think he tried to have him killed in the Tobyverse. Second, the 27 homicide attempts. And I mean, he was going through a rough time, so give him, give him, give him a break. That's what I mean. This guy can't decide on a combo. If there's like another enemy, he's just gonna start wailing. Cat took that statue right in front of me. Didn't they make Jonah like an Alex Jones type? Uh, they did, which, to be fair, sounds like a bit that I would make on stream. <laughs> Where I'd be like, oh, if Jonah, if Jonah, if this were happening today, Jonah would have a weird podcast. <laughs> I almost said that earlier, and then I remember that they actually, that's actually what it was. So it wouldn't even be a bit on my stream, it's just real. I, I do think it overall works yes, in that setting, going. though, to be honest. Ultimate Jonas Sun died. Didn't, like, fucking everybody die in Ultimate? Wasn't that a... that was, like, a big thing? I think everybody's son died in Ultimate. Oh, before- okay. Before everybody died, his son died. Gotcha. Ultimate? Uh, Jonah's son just can't catch a break. In this game, his fiance walks out on them on their wedding day. And then he dies in the other one, <laughs> so... I was about to say I don't know which one of those is worse, but I'm gonna be real, one of those is worse. <laughs> one of those, like, sucks, and the other one is your death. Yeah, if you had to pick between whether my wife that I no arguably don't care about doesn't get married to me or I die, I'll I'll choose to live in that case. If he's attacking Lady Liberty, I'd better get over there in a hurry. Why do orbs keep doing this? I'm so glad the stream went down so we had to see that. It's okay, you just missed bad orbs. You didn't miss anything bad, anything good. I think the stream was down for like a total of one second, to be honest. Um, but it took OBS that long to figure it out. Like my internet went down for like one second.
Mysterio's hidden That's fortress. My ISP. All name, all, all name and shame. It's Comcastic. That shit ever happens, you know who to blame. And if they don't want me to name them in a negative context, maybe they uh, should make my internet work better. Bye. I've been off before, but never <laughs> I feel like that first clown loves to fucking just leave like that. Although they all are now. I've tried to switch that combo to the other one so many times. Better be careful. Did that... Did that mirror guy just dodge roll? What happened there? I swear that mirror guy just did, like, the Kingdom Hearts 2 dodge roll on me. Can they do that? Looks like I found the exit. They can dodge roll? What? <laughs> Wait, can, does Toby 1 have a dodge roll? I don't remember that. Finally out of that crazy place. If I never see another carnival as long as I live, it'll be too soon. Wait, is Toby One actually really good? I, what's the? Can you like roll through shit in Toby One? I don't remember that at all. Shitty little dodges with no iframes, and you have to use the D-pad. Okay, that. I now understand why I don't remember that. <laughs> It all makes sense. Nothing is more shameful in a video game, in my eyes, than a dodge roll with no iframes. Why did you even put the dodge roll in the game? I'm gonna call out Risk of Rain 2 specifically on this one. It's funny because they have iframes in this. That's incredible, actually. They realized their mistake, but not enough to put it in this game. I mean, this a dodge roll really wouldn't make sense with how quickly you can get out of the way in this game, to be fair. And with the fact that it's less combat focused. Well, I'm over here now. Make it- oh no! <laughs> what the hell was that? That was the weirdest interaction with the slope. And now I'm in hell. The commando roll, you know it. That's the one. I don't have time for subtlety. I just have to smash these power terminals until the reactor shuts down. Almost got it. I think if I time that right, I and I go fast enough, I can have enough time to hit the control panel oh before I, I dodge oh, the, the lightning bolt. I almost got it there. Uh, I can't believe I'm late to see Dr. Connors again. Where the hell am I going? Robots. Oh, I know. Try not to run into my fist with your face. Of course, this guy's camping up here. For projectile style bosses in close range, the roll would be good. I guess. If anything, it would just be neat to have iframes on my jump or something so that I could jump out of the way and jump through shit. But that would probably feel goofy for, for the casual play player.
The cut sewer content. Yeah, that stream was a banger. Everybody loves that stream. Besides that one person who didn't. But that's alright. Bye, Betty. Dr. Octavius is a killer. Is it my fault? The, like, content-pilled part of my brain is, like... What if we had a sewer exploration stream, too? And it's like... Well, that would just be nothing, because there's nothing else to find. Can things get any worse? Nope. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not here to call out that com that comment or anything. I don't think that's a polite thing to do, but... How doth these be today? These doth be quite well on this fine day. Especially when Doc Ock does that. What an Still, not one for which I am wholly unprepared. All right, you men. Get him. Does it sound to anybody else like Doc Ock is saying, all right, human, get him? What is he supposed to be saying there? Oh, it's probably all right, you men get him. Not human. <laughs> He's talking specifically to one of his thugs who's named Human. That this is going to be tough. Going for it. Oh, I saw I saw 243 there. Out of 250. I saw 243. That was really close. I read about Octavius's attack, but somehow I just didn't believe it. Uh, a 249, or I, th I think 250 even, depending on what you, you know, if you're being inclusive or not, is the fail point for the helicopter chase. So you want to stay under 250. And it moves so fast that, like, if you're seeing anything in the 240s, you have, like, frames. Look at that time save in Chapter 11. I could do better than that too. That like wasn't even incredible. Yeah, chapter 11, maybe chapter 10 in certain circumstances. I feel like chapter 10 is a little less consistent, but it also has a lot of potential to save time. And probably chapter 13 as well are all good time places to save time on these splits Plus meant I lost time. Well, I'm I'm still um behind overall. How did you find but if you look at um, previous segment, which is the most recent segment, I saved 13 seconds there. I knew I should have kept a better eye on that guy. Still, I was a little distracted at the time.
I think I can also save time in chapter 12, it's just hard. But we can start by saving frames at Black Cat here, because I... I've always been very lazy with following Black Cat at the start of this chase. If the lizard was included... I could see the game having, like, an extra chapter or two. But, I mean, even if you think of Mysterio... Like, Mysterio is only, like, a chapter and a half, right? It's just chapter 7 and 9. And, like, the smallest part of 13 that he occupies. So if it were a similar amount of space, I guess the game would have, like, 17 or 18 story chapters. Probably. Maybe so. Way too high. Very funny. Okay. <laughs> Hang on a second. Let if me I if I'm fast there, I should make it there before she does. It does. I was thinking about this the other day, like, what if I turn around? So normally when the I have an issue where, like, I'm facing the wrong way at the sh start of the shocker fight. So it takes me longer to actually get him. But I thought, what if I just turned around in midair at the very last second? And I was right. The camera does face towards Spider-Man at the start. So it just flips you around the right way. I did not get hit with a mix-up by Shocker that time. He can do it, though. Check on Cat later. Ah. Wonder what Shocker's planning. I have always said this, I'm pro-Jinx. I think if you if you know that you're jinxing something, it can be a good thing. Like if I if I'm like, oh I you know, I hope I don't fuck up the Mysterio fight here. Or you know, I guess I guess I would say I'm going to get the Mysterio fight perfect. As if there was a fight to get perfect. Then I'd be down for that. Alien invaders holding up a convenience store. Make no sense. You went tribal. Great. Now to get these photos from the bugle. What was that swing? I was trying to swing to the left that whole time. I didn't I wasn't getting it. She had a visual glitch for Spider-Man sprinting in the air after a swing. That happens. That's like... I don't know. It's hard to describe the circumstances that lead to it, but it's something like... If you swing, like, the frame after you land, and you input a sprint when you land, then it'll happen. Or something similar to that. you explain why when you jinx somebody you need to buy purchase one container of coca-cola for them i don't i've never heard anybody say so th the saying is jinx i owe you a soda i've never heard jinx you owe me one container of coca-cola brand soda 
Sounds to me like you're getting hit by advertising. I don't know why I said it like that, but... You're not immune to propaganda. That movement's randomly super hard. Whoa, this is an old Oscorp. Midwest would say Jinx, you owe me a pop. Depends where in the Midwest. There's a line. You can look at the map of like where people say pop versus soda versus cola versus coke or whatever. There's a line right through the Midwest. I think this is three. I was too busy talking. What about Jack O'Hammer? Okay. This guy gave you trouble, Spider? Yeah, well, I was young. About time you losers got here. Is grabbing the hideout one faster than the one in the corner before the hideout? In my opinion, yes. Um, but it really kind of just comes down to personal preference. I feel like you can get a really big glide over the one in the corner. Um, that's just better. Like, it's just, it's just, I don't know. I don't want to give that up. You know what I'm saying? Lots of lots of time save in chapter 13 as well. Mary Jane's play. Maybe I can make it tonight. To be honest, I can see arguments to not get any of the four possible tokens. I just, that's the one that I choose not to get. I'm gonna land perfectly. Oh, whoops. Uh, hang on. I can fix this. Okay, I guess that could have been worse. I definitely could have, I could have gotten like an exceptional fight there, but it turned out alright. Just tell MJ the truth. I can't believe she's getting married, and I'm just waving from the sidelines. <sighs> was I supposed to? <laughs> Glided into a sitting me? position. Yeah, you think there was absolutely zero time between that and the cutscene? You just zoomed in at 300 miles per hour, and then was just sitting. Hey, cat. You talk pretty tough when you're in the lead. How about now? Oh. You think Family Guy exists in this game? I think this is uh, the Nexus like event for this universe. Is that Family Guy didn't get greenlit? That's like, that's like the reason why everything different that happens from our world happened, including Spider-Man existing. I did not think it was this guy. I thought that was the other guy with the gun. What are you doing back here, sniper? What happened? Clearly got hit by a rocket, but... <laughs> did you see for like one frame, Black Cat was just zooming? Yo, Avenger. His universe does have have eBay, so it's not a complete utopia. Is Cat right? Do I really have to give up Peter Parker to be Spider-Man? What about the people in my life? It isn't like anyone ever sees me now. MJ. <laughs> Only the Cleveland <laughs> show exists in this game. That's funny. <laughs> so, what do I quit being? 
No, I can't quit either. I help so many people. I can't give up being Peter Parker. But I can't give up being Spider-Man either. Maybe I can balance the two. I should track down Black Cat. I need to have a talk with her. Oh, you see I was getting ready for the web ball. I can do it. I can balance both. Maybe it isn't too late. Maybe I Sorry, can I just had that that swing was an intrusive thought. I don't know what was going on there. I think that can work, but I probably should like lab it instead of just going for it in the middle of a run because I have a weird idea. Although I guess this type of run's the one to do it. The type of run that like like almost definitely isn't PBing, but like is good. So I still care about it. What was I thinking? I must have looked totally crazy. Things could never work out. What about the danger? I must have been out of my mind to ask her. I should just keep away from her. At least she still has Barry. That's the only mission results screen in the whole run that I clawed to, to get rid of. Look more like a Kamehameha instead of a web ball. The wind up for web ball on the ground is is Kamehameha. I'm like positive they referenced it. Do new ports not exist? I think brands don't exist in this game. It's a it's a copyright free utopia. That was good movement. From Treyarch logo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that there's only one brand in this game, and it's it's Treyarch and Activision. I actually don't think Activision has a, a place in here. Just Treyarch. Could be could be wrong. Actually, I don't really remember. City of Treyarch. To be fair, do they ever call it New York City in this game? Do they ever say the words? I feel like they don't. <laughs> the ground dodge. What am I doing? Just, I'm not ready to do this strat yet. Just do it old school. Mary Jane didn't do anything. Don't you the Statue of Liberty? Do they? I know they say Lady Liberty. I, I guess I think Mister actually does say Statue of Liberty. I believe I make it in here. I do. Uh, 
Oh no, no man's land. Bro, <laughs> you gotta hit that. Must be another switch. You shall be destroyed today, murderous pet. That should do. You that whiffed? Die. That didn't hero punch? There we go. Parker, what just happened? I like got hit, Stay but way too early and it didn't knock me back at all? Okay, it's a 53. That's pretty damn good. Definite shows showing a lot of potential in this run. Look at chapter chapter eleven and thirteen. Look at those. We have to stop that reactor before it's. That's like twenty seconds between the two of them. There's only one thing to do. Get the young lady out. More actually, like Peter. You weren't twenty four, twenty three. My hubris, my vanity, cost Rosie her life. This is doable. Now I must set things right. Anyways, you don't get to watch the full cinematic until I pee pee. But I got more in me for sure. Did I just like move something? Oh, no. Uh, reset. <laughs> I was like, I was gonna ask if I moved something in the stream overlay, but I guess not. Alright, let's run it back. level eight my ass when I was a kid. <laughs> so true. I feel like a lot of people do did struggle against Final Doc Ock as kids. But honestly lately he's not been that bad. Well sequel time already to me at least. Back, he's been pretty kind. First things first. Bank has been so much worse. Uh, before we go any further, I think it might be a good idea to save your progress. If Otto comes to his senses after being electrocuted. Well, doesn't that, like, I don't know, whatever, like, AI chip he's got injected into him? It, like, short circuits that, I assume, right? Oh, no. Dr. Connor's class. I got so caught up really just proving that Chad GPT is the true villain. Used to fight him on the narrow walkway above the reactor. That that sounds so cool and like cinematic. I really don't have time for this. Spider-Man. I think you zig when you should have zagged. The inhibitor chip. Doc Ock's gonna act on Order 66 at this rate. Hi, my name. What did I mash start? I can still make it before class ends. Rate this game out of 10. I did that earlier in the stream. <laughs> what did I say? 8.59? 8.75. Final rating. It, my favorite game. 8.75. The white dot on your map here and the white destination marker are both pointing you to the pizza farm. You'll need to get over there at some point, but there's no rush. You know what? Yeah, I'll bump it up to 8.8. .8. I think it deserves that. Even 8... I, I'd even take 8.9. Fuck boost. Kinda didn't want it, but I'll take it. This is a good time to talk a little about Hero Point. You already know that you use them to buy stuff from the Spidey store, right? Oh, you don't? Well, then you weren't paying attention. Naturally, you're gonna want to earn lots of them. You got plenty of options uh, to do it. Stop the crimes, help the citizens. Promised here on MJ that I would meet challenges collecting items and doing it. out of 9 unfinished is amazing. I still hold that with what we know about the unfinished content, it would have been worse if they had finished it. That's my take. The unfinished content's a sewer level. 
Man, that cake was good. Ramped sewer level. I'd better burn off some calories or I won't fit in my costume anymore. No, I don't know for sure, obviously. I can't even remember. Just saying. Oh, no. On my birthday dinner, I promised MJ I would meet her this evening. I gotta hurry. Sewers would have been big and open. I mean, I the rooms that we've like seen were pretty cramped. That's all I'm saying. Mind. Huge highways where you could swing. That would have been better, for sure. I think I'm still a little hesitant about it. Ah, oh, no time. Why would he think to do that? I, my combo is done for like years. That's fine, actually. Calypso boss fight trauma. <laughs> True. I actually don't think Calypso is the worst fight in the game. I think that goes to Shocker too. But she's a contender. I haven't had time to listen to the interview yet, but I will. Feel free to slow down. I'd be. They ever remastered this game when I play your speedrun? It. I'm. I'm sure I'd play it. I'd prefer a faithful port to a remaster, personally. But I would definitely play it, unless it was like obviously really bad. You know, melodrama. My grandmother can keep up better than you. Your grandma. Now that's something I'd like to see. If she gets much farther, I'm gonna lose her completely. I don't know. Whenever I, I think about cut content in games, I feel like the, the the like general take is often. I don't know what the word is for it, but like, maybe optimistic is the word. Because in reality, it's like a fucking miracle that any video game ever gets made. So like, any, like, this video game is finished. It's just not all of it made it through the cutting room floor. And, and, and the things that didn't probably were in various stages of completion. Because that's just kind of how it tends to work. Who's with that girl? Who was she? I don't know. I'm, I'm having a hard time putting it into words, but the Spidey store gets new items every time a new chapter starts. Aha! Yeah, it's a great game. I've I've never felt that this game was unfinished. This isn't like some non-functioning. To me, a game is unfinished when all of its systems don't. When when its systems stop working, or like gameplay clearly doesn't function properly. But every game has cut content. Every game of any decent size, at least. I did think about Fallout New Vegas, yeah. <laughs> I don't even think of that game as unfinished. Even though it has a lot of cut content. It's just that at a certain point, you gotta, like... You gotta say it's done, you know what I mean? Like, you could... You could just work on the game forever, but eventually it has to fucking ship. <laughs> What's up with this Beck guy? How can he possibly claim I'm a f
And for this game, considering it had to come out before the movie, like, there was no delaying this game. I think that they got a shit ton of stuff in. <laughs> Yeah, crunch is not good. Hot take. I don't like it when video game developers crunch their workers. Or when video game publishers enable such behavior. Or force such behavior. I know. I know, I... Very controversial opinion. <laughs> but true. Like... The fact that that's kind of just the standard is really rough. Is that a horn on your head, or are you just glad to see me? Please spin. No. We, I think I need him to sp spin for a three cycle. Okay. Actually, I don't because, yeah, there's stuff that I could have done to get to make that work if he didn't spin, but I kind of forgot that that worked, worked like that. Because Rhino has, like, he lets you hit him six times, but if he charges and you don't cling to the wall, the, like, little counter hit you do that does, like, one damage counts as a hit. So you, if you don't cling to the wall, you get less damage per cycle, which usually doesn't matter. Yeah, Rhino is played by John DiMaggio, who is in like 10 million pieces of media. It's time for me to go. I feel like that's worded. It's worded like you're taking off in a spaceship. It's my time. I must return to my people. Can't believe I actually Jake from Adventure Time. Wait, is Jake the dog, the orange dog guy? Is that's Jake? I thought Jake was the the human guy. I clearly don't know my Adventure Time, having watched like half an episode ever. Finn's a human, I see. I would say fake fan, but like, <laughs> not pretending to be a fan, I guess. I think I might have been, a, I don't know if I was too old for Adventure Time or it just like wasn't airing at the times when I was watching, but either way, I never watched it growing up. <laughs> that bonk hurts, not gonna lie. Yeah, you making out? Listen, I got a new job for you to do, okay? There's these things called photo op tokens that I want you to find. I've marked them on your map just to spell it out real plain for you. Right. Now get to work. I feel like cartoons are the the piece of media that makes me wonder the most, like... Because I feel like everybody who grew up with, like, you know, cartoons in the early, mid-2000s probably thinks higher of those shows than modern cartoons. Is that just because the modern ones are bad, or are we old? Or is it both? I kind of think it's a little both. But more that we're old. Because, like... There's no way my gym partner is a monkey was good, right? <laughs> there is no universe where that was good, but I remember kind of liking it. I was probably just some dumb kid. Maybe it was good. Maybe that show actually slapped.
Yeah, and Camp Laszlo. I, I, I actually don't think I liked that one even as a kid, but... But I was a dumb kid. Maybe it was good. Just making things harder on yourself. I think you need to be harder on you. I figured you should have tried. No, what? Oh, wait, hang on. I think I want a web zip there. That just seems faster. New time save found, I guess. It's like, why don't I web zip there? And then I couldn't think of a reason. Cat, huh? Not a fan of gross comedy. You know what I've never liked? Awkward comedy, where it's like, the joke is that it's a really awkward situation. I, that, that, nothing, nothing as a kid would get me to, like, switch the channel faster. Than when it's like, oh, this character's, like, caught in a lie, and... You know, like, it's, it's slowly evaporating and the situation's really awkward. No, just get me out of there. Hate the office. I don't... I think I've watched, like... So Quentin Beck's gonna prove I'm a fake. Two minutes of the office ever. I, I don't know if I hate it. <laughs> I'm not allowed to know. I haven't watched enough. Ready, Spider-Man? Let's begin. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Do you like my gadgets, Spider-Man? I perfected the technology on the movie Sorority Death Robots. I don't know about your effects, but your education must have been special. God, Planet Sheen. I have a specific memory of, you know, like... Because I don't watch very much TV, I never did. But being like, Planet Sheen, what the fuck is that? Like, seeing it on the programming. And that was when I re I was like, okay, I know that, like, I'm too old for this shit now, but, like, this is bad, right? <laughs> like, this is not good. Come on, you beat me up once, isn't that enough? Oh, are you still going back? Uh, I hadn't noticed. I mastered this trick on the set of Ninjas of Madness 4. Flaming Is there no other guy? Oh my god. Look at this troll. Oh, this absolute troll. He's dancing. <laughs> well, I kind of liked this run. I don't really know why, but I was having fun. Oh, he fell in. There we go. How could I let this happen? I know. That was definitely my fault. Okay, we run it back. The crowd goes. To be fair, if I saw that shit, I would, I would go absolutely fucking ape shit if I saw a guy like fucking levitating like that. Imagine being way ahead of world record and that happening. Oh, it's happened. Although, that's not even, like, super, like, it, it's been said that, you know, the run doesn't, like, truly start until after well, Chapter 7. That's kind of part now. of why. Welcome back, I guess. First things first. I don't think that's actually true, but. 
You could say that. What I'm trying to do now is get a run past Chapter 7 that's alive, because Chapter 7 is where the PB peaked in terms of time save. So all the time save in this in these splits is after chapter seven from like Oh no. I think from eight through thirteen I was doing, I forgot all about it. I can I lost time in every split on the PV. Still, I should be able to make it as long as Help me later chapter's harder due to less experience. That's probably part of it. To be honest, I don't actually think later chapters are harder. I actually think, in terms of execution, Chapter 3 might be the hardest. Especially if you're doing new art gallery strats. And there's like this bit of uninterrupted movement from here until um, meeting up with Harry and MJ. And to be honest, even after that, but like, like this is a long bit of hard movement that just keeps going. Yeah, I kind of have to dial in here. Naturally, you're going to want to earn lots of them. You got plenty of options to do it. Stop the crime, stop the citizen stress. Promise Harry and MJ that I would meet them delivering pizza. There's some other ways too, so try different things and see what you like. But you can only be a good guy. Can't, oh, this is like super late, Izzy, but you, you cannot web the thugs when they're floating like that because Mysterio dropped them. And I guess that would be like stealing his guys. I can't even remember the Oh no! At my birthday dinner, I promised MJ I would meet her this evening. I gotta hurry. Can't believe I ran off like that. I must be out of my mind. Secrets are the most valuable collectible, and more importantly, they are like at the start. Because the more you collect of any valuable or what do you want to call it, collectible, um, the more they give per. But secrets give 250 at the start. So do hideout tokens. So I guess they're tied. But I think by the end, secret tokens are giving you more than that. I don't actually remember. Maybe they always get 250. Start giving 500 towards the end. I wonder when that happens, because... We get a lot of secret tokens in here. I wonder if there's like some routing breakpoint that we can meet where we're getting 500 per secret token at the end of the run. We have to get less of them. Probably not enough that it's ever worth it, but Wow, she is fast. I better hurry. I'm going to lose her. We have conflicting info in the chat. Who's right, who's wrong? Can we get a Spidey Family Guy death pose emote? I tried to make to make that happen, but the thing is, when you tr it's so hard to convey that in an emote because when it, they're so small that it just looks like nothing. It just looks like Spider-Man lying down normally. But I, I ironically have tried to make that before. <laughs> Right. If I don't pick up the pace, she's as good as gone. You want you to make it? If you can make it conveyable at a small resolution, then maybe. 
and then but if that happens then that would be the next uh emote once i get an, once i get another emote slot for channel members it's rendered in 4k yeah see that's the thing is you're gonna render it in 4k and then it's gonna get scaled down to like 16 by 16. <laughs> hey come on i just want to talk I mean, just whatever size you want it to, like, <laughs> I'm saying it doesn't really matter. But if, if there's a way to get it conveyable at a low resolution, that'd be sick. You know, this chapter opening reminds me of something. The Spidey store gets new I don't think I've ever messed with suit mods in this, no. You mean the dolphin texture replacements? Visit the store and check out what they've got. I can't believe Nate was wrong about something. It happens, I guess. Hi, Pete. I think that's the third. Yeah, I'm fine with the regular suit in this game. I feel like that ship's kind of sailed for me. Like, at this point, I'm, like, in love with the regular aesthetic of the game. And if I want mods, I just, I want them to, like, change the gameplay somehow. God, that angle is awful. It would be neat if there was a way to, if there was like an in-game way to unlock them though. Like if that just was in the base game and not a mod. That's a good glide. enough trouble without someone trying to convince thugs that I don't have powers. Oh, this is great. Hi, Pete. How are Peter could work construction and get paid way more. I'm just imagining Peter working construction and like constantly breaking OSHA because he knows he, he can't like, he'll be fine if he falls off. Just constantly going into like dangerous situations and his employers, he doesn't know he has superpowers getting mad at him. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> that camera angle is so weird. Oh, you. That was like almost the perfect token grab. All tokens after 60 give 500. Yeah, that's probably not getting routed in. I think the... I think... I want to say the speedrun gets under 30. Somewhere, somewhere in that range. I actually don't remember. How many is this? That's six. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Believe I actually got to meet Dr. Otto Octavius.
Here's the thing, if, if, if Peter wanted to work construction or something like that, I feel like he'd get, like, bored. Cause he or like it would be annoying because you'd have to constantly like restrict himself to normal human strength to keep up appearances. Like there's no way <laughs> that shit's gonna be interesting on day 500. I guess that's any job. Yeah, maybe it wouldn't be that different. Maybe it'd be fine. Hey kid, how you making out? Listen, I got a new job for you to do, okay? There's these things called photo op tokens that I want you to find. I've marked them on your map just to spell it out real plain for you. Yeah, and also, like, if you think about it, like, this is, this is, I feel this way about, like, you know, the fact that, like, Goku and Superman can have, like, regular lives. Is it really that easy to restrict your strength to a human lo level? Like, if I think about it, sometimes we don't know our own strength as humans. How much worse has it gotta be for a guy who can, like, punch the universe to death? like, oops, I accidentally destroyed the Earth and the entire solar system by flicking it. Imagine the, like, call of the void you'd get. Void calls, which is now. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you know what I mean? Where it's like, I could just destroy, I could just destroy the Earth right now with one punch, and it would be easy. I feel like I'd just, like, go live in a different universe. Like, I wouldn't, I'd be too afraid of destroying everything. Superman's parents taught him to control. Just, I, I don't know if it would be that easy. Have some explaining to do. You're actually pretty cute when you're ridiculous. Superman says he feels like he's made in a world made of cardboard. I feel like it would be even worse. It's like tissue paper. I feel like Superman's parents taught him to control his powers from, like, an, a, a moral standpoint, which is great, but, like, at a certain point, it's just a, it's about controlling your muscles. But, like, you know, sometimes, you know, some people, like, kick in their sleep, too. I wonder if you could just do that and, act, and it's like, oh, well, there goes, <laughs> there goes New York City. Oh, I don't want to be here. No, I missed. That swing. Black cat, huh? Saitama able to punch up a pole through a solid cliff without direct content contact can put on his clothes without ripping them. That's what I'm saying. Like, I guess. There's just like a hidden power to having super strength where you also get super muscle control. Cuz that's the only thing that makes Black sense. Cat seems okay. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of an attitude though. Better change while no one is around. I have not watched Invincible. So Quentin Beck's going to prove I'm a fake, huh? This I got it. I'm trying to think of the most recent television show I watched, and I can't think of one from, like, the past decade. Ready, Spider-Man? Let's begin! Which is not out of malice for modern TV, I just don't really watch TV. Do you like my gadgets, Spider-Man? I've 
the technology on the movie so because if i to watch modern tv i have to sign into and maybe even pay for an account and that's a lot of work like i could sign into like my parents netflix but then i would have to ask them for the password and type it into my computer and that's just like a lot of effort to watch a show I don't know if anybody else can empathize with me or if I sound like actually nonsensical right now, but that's that's genuinely how my brain works with t with TV. And then it's like even worse if I want to watch cable, I have to like watch ads and like sit in front of a TV and, and, and go buy a TV to watch. I don't own a TV anymore. You know, if the cool kids beat you up in school, you're really taking wow. it out on the wrong guy. Hey, remember when we talked about this earlier? That hasn't happened to me in like a year. There was an award for laziness, I'd send someone to pick it up for me. You can have it, I'm too lazy to apply. I think it just boils down to, the only time I watch stuff these days is when I'm eating. And when I'm eating, I don't want to bother fussing with accounts and stuff. So it's like, oh, well, I guess I'll just put it on, like, a YouTube video or a stream or something. Hopefully that's the last I'll hear from Beck. Am I canon? To what? To this game? Yes. Don't you see? I'm I'm like up to the top left. I'm gonna reset this run. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm actually gonna use the bathroom real quick. Low key had to do this entire run, but now I'm actually doing it. Um, and then we'll do some more runs when I get back. Sound good? See you in a few. All right. I'm back, and as a bonus, the capture card didn't break when I came back this time.
and we can run it back. I think I'm playing pretty good. I've just got to... <laughs> Chapter 7's got to figure something out. That's the second run in a row where I've lost a run to Chapter 7 in a very similar way. I'm using bathroom spawn. If it were that easy. Well, sequel time already, huh? Things would Welcome be different. Back, I, <laughs> I don't. Why, why don't? No, wouldn't it? Would just be slightly more convenient if I could just teleport to the bathroom whenever I wanted. Uh, before we go any further, I think it, <laughs> it would be like a game changer. Progress, if you could call it that. Just go to the pause menu and bring up the save load screen. Easy, right? Do it. Oh no. Dr. Connors. I do think teleportation, assuming it's infinite, is the power that I would choose. And assuming there's no monkey's paw like, ah, well the earth's, you know, spinning around the sun, so when you teleport you actually go to the space where you were where the earth was occupying ten minutes ago, but now you're in outer space. Like no none of that. Just you know, if, if I if I want to go to California, I can teleport to California, you know what I mean? I feel like that would be one of the best superpowers to actually have in like a day-to-day -day circumstance. Hi, my name Maybe I can still make it before class ends. What if I can teleport to the bathroom at any time? Okay. Is it my bathroom? That's still pretty good. If it's any bathroom, that's insanely good. <laughs> if I get to pick the bathroom. But if, even if it's just my bathroom, I could like fly to a friend's house, you know, states away, and I could just bring some of my stuff to leave there. And then it'd be like, okay, I'm done visiting. Uh, bye. And then I just teleport back to my bathroom and I don't have to take a plane back. And I just save like, I would save thousands of dollars easily d using that over the course of, you know, years and stuff. And like hours and, you know, like traveling sucks. So if I can skip that shit, that'd be awesome. Oh, you don't? Well, then you weren't paying attention. Naturally, you're going to want to earn lots of them. You got plenty of options to do. What if the bathroom gets demolished? Uh, then it, it doesn't work. Then the teleport doesn't work. Some other ways too, so try different things. But you don't like lose anything. But you can only be a good that also would just be such a good like sometimes maybe literally get out of jail free card. <laughs> um But more more likely, you know, like you know, say you're in a dangerous situation, you can just warp back to your bathroom. You know your car breaks down in the middle of the night you don't you know you don't necessarily want to wander around in an area you don't know teleport back to your bathroom i can't believe i ran off like that i must be out of my mind super speed see i feel like super speed would have the same problem that we were talking about that we were talking about with uh, super strength, where it's like you wouldn't be able. I feel like you'd have a hard time controlling your speed. I guess it comes back to like you kind of assume that those powers come with control over them that is finer than what, what we necessarily have normally. So I guess in, if I'm arguing in good faith, super speed's also pretty good, but like. If I'm not arguing in good faith, super speed doesn't necessarily say anything about having super reaction time. So you might just run at 3,000 miles per hour into, like, a car and die. Which can't happen if you teleport to your bathroom. Probably. I guess if you teleport to your bathroom at the same time that a car happens to be driving through your house, it could be dangerous, but, like, that could, that you know, that could happen right now. I could just, like, get run over by a semi on stream that was just, like, you know, through some freak accident hurled through my house. 
style? DC got rid of that problem by giving Flash speed force magic. It does seem like he got some buffs over the years for sure. You teleport into a wall. I feel like if we're arguing in, in good faith, the teleport just fails if you try to teleport into a wall. But I guess if not, then you would just instantly die. <laughs> So that would be bad. People live in apartments and houses right off the interstate. Have I told the story about, um... The interstate wall? When I was a kid, you can't even I guess I'll imagine. tell it now. When I was a kid, um, I lived in a house on a hill that was over, like, and there was a, the interstate was right next to the hill, but and this was a pretty big hill, so you could like very clearly hear all the cars and shit. And I guess the the people living in the neighborhood were getting, um, you know, this chapter opening reminds fed up with it. So they voted somehow to, um, I don't know if it was a homeowners association or what, I, don't, I was like a, I was very young. Um, but they voted to like construct this wall, the interstate wall, to like stop noise. And <laughs> so this, these people come down and they build the wall to block the noise out from the cars. But we live on top of a giant fucking hill, so now there's just a hill with a wall at the bottom of it. So, like... We can still hear the cars because sound can it doesn't give a shit about the wall being there. It's just gonna you know go straight to the house that's on top of the hill. <laughs> the wall's not like two hundred feet tall. So <laughs> they just built this useless fucking wall that doesn't do anything. <laughs> and that that was how I grew up. Um, being pretty used to falling asleep to the sound of like cars and shit driving. And, ho and ho like horns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I. Thinking about the layout of that place, it probably helped like three people, that, that wall. Like, I think like three houses would have been affected by it out of, you know, the whole neighborhood. Because most of it was just on this hill. I do well in city apartments. Sleeping, maybe. But I think that's the reason why I, I, I always sleep with a fan on now. Because I, I need, like, some noise. Some, like, white... I, I can't be alone with my thoughts when I sleep. There needs to be something there. I have enough trouble without oh, someone trying to... Hi, Pete. And every once in a while, I do think about that stupid fucking wall. <laughs> and I wonder if the people on that, if they, like, ever did anything about it. Like, like if I go to, is the wall, would the wall still be there? Damn, I'm high up. I didn't know that I could hit him from up there. We've been cheapered out for people's homes with lesser noise cancelling. I think we had pretty good, like, insulation and, you know, all that. But there's only so much you can do when you have windows in your house. Like, you'd still hear it through the windows. Was an easy fight. 
Is Rhino the easiest boss in the speedrun? I think, ironically, that's probably Shocker 2. You gotta, like, learn tech for Rhino that is, like, basically not used anywhere else. And, I mean, you do her Shocker 2, but it's easier tech. Back brain is easiest? No way. Orbs are tough these days. Orbs used to be easy. Orbs are hard now. And it, you can subtly lose a shit ton of time and not even realize why. Store back. Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's probably the actual answer. If you want to call that a boss. But he has three health bars. How can he be the easiest boss if he has three health bars? You ever think about that one? You can kill Storbeck twice. It's actually not even too hard. Which I guess means you're doing six health bars of damage. Hey kid, how you making out? Listen, I got a new job for you to do, okay? There's these things called photo op tokens that I want you to find. I've marked them on your map just to spell it out real plain for you. Now get to work. Weird, like, corkscrew glide there. If Speedy Mart Mysterio has a boss in the boss rounds, that would be so fucking awesome, actually. They should have done that. There was, especially if it was a boss, he would. <laughs> In the final boss round, it's like you have to fight Shocker, and Calypso, and Rhino, and Doc Ock, and then in the back it's just Mysterio is there, standing. And you also have to get him at some point. Uh-huh. Well, flattery will get you nowhere with me. They should have had uh, Mysterio's brain, too, from the Statue of Liberty. I should have been in the boss rounds. How would you fit it? I mean, it's just the brain. It's not like anything else. I went too early there. I'm so sad. Because I like this run. And I... I think it's fine. Just yeah, it's fine. Yourself. Pretty good. Black cat, huh? Brain would ragdoll. I don't even know how that would work. Was that hideout token invisible? That happens sometimes. It's just like a weird camera thing where it, it like doesn't think to load all the shit in there. Black cat seems okay. Maybe I've gotten kind of used to it. With the brain, so you kill the brain, Mysterio's brain, and it just bounces around like a basketball around the arena. That sounds kind of fun. 
how our run's going. I'm like attached to this run for some reason. I don't really know why. This is actually a good run. But we're pre chapter 7, so I probably shouldn't be. And that runs have been alright today. Let's begin. We don't have as many, um, like, early promising runs, or, like, at least from, like, a how the splits look, because the early game on these splits is really, really good, and the late game is where the time save is. Do you like my gadgets, Spider-Man? I've perfected the technology on the movie, so... So, like, even being within a few seconds of it is actually a really good sign. I don't know about your effects, oh my God. but your education must have been special. Oh my... Get... Dude! <laughs> I, I swear... These guys. Don't let them float above the pit. Alright, I'll use my new anti-float above the pit tech. That's definitely real. Green Goblin boss fight. I feel like it could very. It depends. If he lets you like air, if you can air combo him, it could be really neat. It, I, I mean, just like any boss fight, it depends on how it's designed, you know. But I, I could see some neat opportunities for shit like that. I have 12 points. I was not paying attention to the score at all. I fucking stomped him. That was not close. Mr. Calling is the playground designer, Beck. This is a weird angle. But it worked. But that will be corrected soon enough. Psychologists call that projection. Gotcha! Not as fast as you white people to think, are you? You're going to need to move a lot faster than that. Even the audience isn't real. Beck is the real phony here. Hopefully that's the last Yeah, as long as you, you could actually like injure him. Because I'd worry if they were to make a Green Goblin boss fight for this game, it would end up just being like... Like, oh, you can only hurt him once his glider is deactivated. Instead of just being able to hit him whenever. You don't like this game's Doc Ock fight is like one of the most fun ones. Might be the most fun fight in the game. I don't know if I agree with that take. It's because you can like actually do really cool combos on him though. Duckduck had more screen time in this game. I'm just imagining a situation. I know this isn't what you mean, but I'm like imagining that from the perspective of somebody who only watches speedruns. Like, huh? You know, Duckduck's not like in a lot of this game. <laughs> not now. Like, don't even realize that I'm skipping cutscenes and stuff. Coming at ya! Aren't I in forever? Couldn't you have waited a day? Think about a career. 
You okay? Go. Great. Just take off, guys. I'm not late or anything. Stopping? I guess I finally have your attention. I'm putting the I, I, right now. Sorry, I didn't want to do it to you, Sniper, but... You shouldn't have... Shouldn't have cooped up with your buddy there. It's been a while since I've uh, taken out the sniper there. Kind of anti-home. That sniper sucked. Now that I think about it, he, I don't. Did he? Sh did he even shoot the truck? If he did, he was really late about it. And then he shot me and like get down, Mr. President, at his friend. That's like a D tier at best sniper. How far is this place? Not too far. Stay with me. That guy sucked. I don't feel bad for beating him up anymore. <laughs> kind of random that you're on a train. <laughs> this person who's only understanding of the game is through speedruns. It's like a... Hey, I was just going easy on you before. <laughs> Yeah, he did. Okay, so he did finish off the truck, but in my mind, that's like, you got to get it before I have to dodge the bullet to be like a good sniper in my mind. It does help a little, but like, that's kind you're kind of just an afterthought at that point. I swear, I, I tried so hard to get an air combo out. That kind of makes up for it. I might die. They're just unloading. <laughs> I kind of like that run. <laughs> they just, they, that, there was just a firing squad after me that whole time. Damn. There. there will be more. In fact, there's more right now. That is probably... I think... I used to think this about the Chapter 14 warehouse fight. I think that's the most like volatile fight in the speedrun. Because in the Chapter 14 fight, if you do it right, I feel like you will well, consistently take a little bit of damage, but not like a ton. Back, in this one, it's just like sometimes they just go off and you are and you get like fucking unloaded on. <laughs> and you lose like half your health in two seconds. I think it might be a good idea to save your progress, if you could call it that. Just go to the pause menu and bring up the save load screen. And, like, you can do a little bit to avoid it, but... Oh, no. Dr. Connor's class. I got so caught up in what I was doing, I forgot all about it. Believe I'm running so late. Had got that one punch, yeah. Cat not helping doesn't help either. <laughs> right on cue. I was almost there, too. That's like... Can you imagine? If we got to see Cat just doing like four hit air combos and actually taking out opponents there, actually helping the run. I've done one any percent run on Toby One, and I think it will stay that way because I think it's funny to be last on the leaderboard. All the world is my dream. That's the only other Spider-Man game I've ever done a run of. I think this might be a good time for you to check your to-do list. It'll show the white dot on your map here and the white destination marker are both pointing you to the pizza park. You'll need to get over there at some point, but there's no room. Case guy running into walls. He's doing his best, alright. 
That's all we can ever do. This is a good time to talk a little about hero. Briefcase guy has been so nice lately. Remember, I feel like it wasn't even that long ago where, like, every run, or, like, every other run, briefcase guy would, like, do some fuckery, like, run the wrong direction or beat the shit out of me for no reason. Lately, he's done that, like, once. He's, he's just, is very cooperative. So, shoutouts to him. That's a character arc if I've ever seen one. Good. Okay. I want to clear my name. Uh, in Chemical Chaos in the Toby One run, that was not intentional. I just didn't know which one was the one that killed everyone. My birthday dinner, I promised MJ I would meet you this evening. I gotta hurry. I can't believe I ran off like that. I must be out of my mind. He was on strike and managed to get a pay raise. Good for him. Are you here for the two for one on European Masters still? Thank you, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. You don't strike me as a patron of the arts, material. What happened to the guy that you're posting? Good fight, but good pace. Is it bad you find Toby One to be a three out of ten? That's just like your opinion, so it's fine. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Now, <laughs> if he's called this game a three out of ten, I, I'm still fine with it, but I I will be less. I will be a little concerned. My favorite chapter in this game, it fluctuates. From like a speedrunning perspective, or just like in general, because that's two different things. Because right now... I think, to be honest, they might be the same. I think they both might both be chapter 9 right now. No, I think I'm liking... My brain's telling me... Chapter 15 is really cool, hey, actually. Slow down so I can talk to you. But not in... Go home. Not in speedrun's perspective. Although I actually don't mind Chapter 15 in the speedrun. It's just hard. It's hard and scary because it's the last one. Damn, Flynn, you're making me hungry. <laughs> I want ramen with a hard-boiled egg. I don't know if I need the yolk runny, though. Oh, I... Not, not runny. Like, a little gelatinous, maybe? I don't want it to run. But still, it does sound good. What was with that girl? Who was she? You know, this chapter opening reminds me of something. The Spidey store gets new items every time a new chapter... Yeah, it's the tiniest starts. amount. Aha! Next time you have a chance, visit the store and check out what they've got. I reckon Black Cat has a super serum. Well, no one's around. I better change while there's, I feel like there's evidence for and against, because, like, on one hand, she can jump, like, 50 feet in the air. Hi, Pete. On the other hand, she can't hit for shit. So, like,. I 
I'm gonna say yes, but only for, only for jumping, not for fighting. She somehow has something that makes it so she can jump really high, but she doesn't have super strength. Here's the thing, if it were leg power, that would mean she would be able to kick really hard. So like somehow, like it's like a low gravity ability or something like that, you know what I mean? Like she can do low gravity, but only on herself, I don't know. Because if it were in her legs, then, you know, she'd be able to kick really hard and actually help me in fights. Besides just being a distraction that sometimes gets the enemies to shoot each other. That's not fair. Every once in a while, Cat gets the finishing blow on an enemy, but that shit's rare. Uh, did not think I'd end up over there, to be honest. I didn't think I'd just straight up miss the swing on the building. <laughs> Backup was actually pretty good. I don't see anyone around. Now How do you do the Toby glitch where you wander the city as Toby? Okay, step one. I have enough trouble. Do a race slash challenge. I don't have and then clip into the daily bugle. Oh, this is great. Then pause the game and restart while you're in the bugle. And you'll be teleported as Toby in the city. Hi Pete. How are you? I no I didn't I didn't label the other steps, but that's the whole thing. Is there, now that I think about it, is there a guide on how to do that glitch, or is that just, like, word of mouth? Maybe I should make, like, a, a well-made video guide for the modern audience on how to do that. Oh, speaking of videos, so yesterday I didn't stream, but um, I spent a, a couple hours editing instead. And next video's pretty damn close to being done, I just need to do, like... I need to like do some some of the fancier editing and finishing touches and then it's done. Which I'm pretty excited about. So, might be able to finish, I don't know, I might, there's a chance I finish that tonight, in which case it'll be up tomorrow for, for channel members, and then the day after tomorrow for everybody else. But don't count on it. At the end of the day, it'll be done when it's done. There's just a chance that's tonight. believe I actually got to meet Dr. Otto Octavius. See, I think there's a lot of videos that show doing the Peter Parker glitch because it's, you know, it's involved in a lot of stuff, but I'm not sure if there's like a well-made video on that, on how to specifically do that glitch. I thought y'all were talking about my hair for a second. I was like, is there something wrong with my hair? I was like, oh shit. And then you're talking about the cutscene. I would be devastated if anything happened to my hair. Actually, not true. I would just get wigs instead, and that would actually probably be more fun than just like having natural hair. In, but also more annoying in some ways. But like, imagine I could just show up to a, every stream with different hair. I feel like that'd be sick. Hey kid, how you making out? It's like you just you never know what's gonna show up. There's these things called photo op tokens that I want you to find. I've marked them on your map just to I could go to a BRB and come back with different hair. I feel like that's so sick. <laughs> That movement was very clean in a subtle way. In a tasteful way.
Yeah, blonde or not blonde. Long hair is uh it's a it's a lot to take care of, but I think it's worth it. Eating with long hair, yeah, it can be hard. I, I think I've gotten pretty good at it. That doesn't really bother me as much anymore. I think there's a, there's skill involved there that you can grow. Hair ties do exist, but like, my hair really doesn't like them. Like, it is annoying and sometimes painful to get my hair into a hair tie properly. Which I'm fine with. I don't. But now you're friendly. Make up your mind. I don't really like the the hair pulled back look for me, at least. Other people can pull it off. I love that web zip. Why haven't I been doing that this whole time? Look how fast I am. I, like, almost beat her to the building. That's eventually gonna happen, and then there's gonna be... Hell to pay. Why did I say hell to pay? I, was, I meant, like, no additional time to save. Speaking of which, um... <laughs> there's a little gold for you. I was wondering... Black cat seems okay. Maybe a little bit of an attitude, though. This should be a safe Oh, and a bathroom spawn to go with it? Don't mind if I do. So Quentin Beck's gonna prove I'm a fake, huh? This, I gotta see. Now we just need to not get cheesed by Beck. Ready, Spider-Man? Let's begin. Uh, oh, yo, double fix. Okay, that kind of puts me back on track, almost. Do you like my gadgets, Spider-Man? Still need to be kind of fast, and I'm giving up a point. You know what? I don't know about your effects, but your education is something special. And then your aunt's firing when you discover something new. Yeah, like, that... I discovered that web zip today, I think. And it's like, it's not even huge, but it, it, it felt like, why haven't I been doing this the whole time? I'm better than you, Spider-Man, and today I'm going to prove it! Your parents never hugged you, did they? Okay, he went in. The secret tech is to look at the score. <laughs> If I'm ever throwing it into one that's gonna give me points, I check the score to see if he actually went in. I kind of wish there was, like, an equivalent indicator for the red ones. Fifty-one's gonna be tough. I, I think it's doable, but it's there's it's gonna be a journey to get fifty-one. One I am down to eventually make. 
For right now, I'd like to get a uh, sub 5230. I think is kind of a, a more realistic goal. But we'll see how I'm feeling once I get that. Like if if I get like you know a 5205, and it's like oh shit. Well, I guess we got to go for 51. <laughs> I kind of wish you could just go back to the arena, Zoki. That would be cool too, though. I feel like that'd be more, like... That sounds like a... Sometimes it's like, oh, I'm wishing for too much. How's a more realistic one? I don't know, but as a kid, I was always obsessed with, like, going back to areas in the story that were, like, kind of weird like that. This is a really good run, by the way. I know I'm I'm behind, but, like, this pace is really good. What goes down in that stadium and not being used by movie effect artists and superheroes? I mean, that's a... That's like a real... Stadium, right? I don't know. What happens in there? I assume like sporting events and stuff, right? I'm assuming that's, like, based on a real stadium that's actually in New York City. It is kind of wild that they made New York City real, though. Never would have thought they'd do that just for this game. Not now. You guys are such a nuisance. Is that all you've got? No. It's like you have something against me. Why tonight, guys? <sighs> And here I thought I was about to get like a perfect fight there. You okay? It's Madison Square Garden. I've definitely heard of that. Orlando homie sniper so far. Stopping? I guess I finally have your attention. Homiest. Well, maybe not homiest. That's like an A minus sniper because they can shoot the truck twice. It's possible. It's just exceedingly rare. You ever feel like you have to burp, but you still can't burp? You just you gotta give up. You can't obsess over. You gotta let it go. It's just gonna cause you pain. How far is this place? Not too far. Just stay with me. I've definitely heard of Madison Square Garden, but I, I don't remember from where. I guess just, like, real life. But yeah, I have had that happen before. <laughs> Sly Finkleton subreddit. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. I feel like the when the music, or the music, I was just reading, my brain just took that from chat. When, when the um, Discord server dropped, that kind of killed the subreddit. <laughs> to be honest, most music that I listen to these days is like soundtrack stuff. But there are, I like a couple bands. To be honest, music is usually just like a very background thing for me. I don't, I don't like sit down and listen to music for the most part. Hey, 
Where'd you learn to fight? <laughs> These guys are trolling today. There we go. Hanging in there, cat. Is it called when you incorporate speedrun strats into casual playthroughs? For me, usually it's called an accident. Like, I do that shit on accident. But I don't know if there's like a word for it. Cat took that statue. I right my input. How am I supposed to play Spider-Man 2 without my input and my second gold of the run? What the fuck? I didn't realize it was that good. Alright, we got a game. We got a run on our hands, fellas. All the world is my dressing room. Hi, Pete. Okay, guess I better get going. That news conference is gonna start any minute. Way too high there. Yeah, two golds is kind of wild. I feel like chapter eight is weird to gold because it it never feels like I did anything like unique. It was just like, ah, oh, that was pretty good, and then I gold. How are you not going to grab him there? He's right there. I think the, I've been clawing to grab those guys recently. That's the future for sure. Get that jump pre-charged. Making stuff up as they want me. What you have to do in this game. Kinda. You don't think about it. That's kind of how all stories are. Somebody's got to make it up. I can make this work. I'm tryharding so much right now. <laughs> I want these orbs to be good. And they were. Besides that, besides this, besides this. Okay, it's over. Okay. <laughs> I missed the like one input at the end, but other than that, it was fine. Who built this for Mysterio? He's a special effects artist. He made it himself. He's basically just, if you think about it, Mysterio's kind of like, um... He's kind of like an evil Mythbuster. 
Because weren't, weren't the Mythbusters special effects people before they were Mythbusters? This is just like, if Mythbusters didn't happen, this is what would happen. Very sad. Get it? <laughs> Spider-Man, you gotta get in there. Mysterio's hidden fortress looks just like an apartment. Try not to run into my fist with your face. Well done, Spider-Man. Please come inside and discover the horrors that await you. Okay, I've been flipped off before, but never quite like that. What's going on? It feels so strange. Everything is upside down. What's going on? Shiro builds everything himself. He, yeah, he, he just he just has a wrench and he just goes. You know, he's just like, all right, now I'm gonna make the fake top to the Statue of Liberty, and then he does it in like a day. This is how all special effects people work. Looks like I found the exit. Finally. Let me out. I'm finally out of that crazy place. If I never see another carnival as long as I live, it'll be too soon. Okay, we're still green. And remember, all the time saves in chapter 11 and 13. Well, not all of it, but a decent amount of it. And to be honest, in this chapter, but I feel less confident about consistently saving time here. It just can happen. Chapter 10 is secretly really hard, even though it seems like not very eventful. What are the police gonna do when the when the when Mysterio attacks the Statue of Liberty? Yeah, that's that shit for like. I mean, if that happened in real life, you get like the Coast Guard on that, right? Like, like New York cops aren't gonna help. With that. I don't even know. They shot me out of my attack. Oh my god, these guys. Why are you camping? <laughs> the Coast Guard shoots down the orbs so Spider-Man can get to Mysterio. I feel like you leave it alone wrong, long enough, they, they, they do that, you know what I mean? But I think he'll be alright now. I need to figure out what happened to him, but I don't have any leads. Like, if Spider-Man didn't act so quickly, maybe I can pick up a lead eventually they get there? I don't know. I don't know, I play this game so fast, I never wait long enough, you know?
Yo, thanks for the sub. I don't catch all the sub alerts, but every once in a while I catch them out of the corner of my eye. Hi, Betty. Dr. Octavius is a killer. Hi, Betty. Is it my fault? Do I save or lose time here? I actually don't know. I think I save a couple seconds. Nope. <laughs> Late chapter time, so I, I'm basically even. Can things get any worse? Nope, wait, well, I withdraw the question. All right, bank, please. Stop right there, Doctor Octavius. Please don't make me fight you. And bank, thank you. Nice. <laughs> nice Sometimes you just have to ask politely. Still, not one for which I am wholly unable. All right, you men, get him. Don't listen to reason. He still has those tentacles. Gonna have to fight. No. You guys picked on the wrong old lady. Okay, we're good. The doc thugs are pretty damn tanky. There are tankier enemies, but they're they're up there. They don't block though, so that kind of offsets it. Like if they blocked, they'd be so fucking tanky. Is this the only scene Aunt May is in? Is it? Yeah, maybe. We're saving a lot of time, by the way. Oh, unless that. Well, even though, even with that. And by that, I mean a third gold this run. <laughs> Holy shit! Thank you for the good luck. Even if this isn't the run, like, this is a hella run, so... Stay tuned, I guess. Never done that in my entire life. I don't even know if it's good. Probably. To, like, go over that building. watch that health bar. We're doing pretty good on health. I don't think it's a concern. I really did not mean to do that. But I can fix it. Spider-Man, pick a lane. So, how did you find Shocker? Well, apparently he escaped during your event with Quentin Beck. Seriously? I knew I should have kept a better eye on that guy. Is there a cemetery in this game? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure there's not. 
Nobody dies in this game. Besides Rosie. <laughs> Rip. Rosie doesn't die, she just goes to sleep. Forever. Doesn't Doc Ock die at the end? Ambiguous, I guess? I think so. But for the purposes of this joke, no, he's fine. You do never see Doc Ock die, that's true. Very funny. Hang on a second, let me catch up. Here we go. I don't know, why am I nervous for Shocker Skip? Just don't be, just do it, it's easy. It's easy. Are you wearing a girdle? Okay. Still slow and One. Two. Wearing a girdle? Three. To ask. Four. Absorbency compared with the leading brand. Five. How's the tire mascot gig? Oh, I turn around to oh, well. Got him. I hope Cat is okay. Was that was that, that bad? What was so bad about that chapter twelve? Just do the charged wall jump instead of wall sprinting. I'm trying to even. I'm not sure if I can picture what you're asking me to do. This run's still good. I'm just a little confused. Okay, I'll have to go back and look at that. To be honest, mostly there I was afraid of going too fast and, and, uh, what's the word? And, like, failing the chase. Because I'm still new to that and don't know how much leeway I get. I'm still not 100% sold on that strat. Well, no one's around. I better change while I have a chance. I kind of think if you do a perfect, the other one might still be faster. But this one's definitely way easier. Yo, Mario fan. Alien invaders holding up a convenience store. Magnus. I have to see. You at tribal. Great. Gotta get these photos to the bugle. Yeah, if you weren't here earlier, I've actually golded three times this run. It's been a weird run. Can we make it four? I can't believe that. Jameson would frame his own mother if he thought it would sell papers. What did I ever do to Jameson? What could he possibly have? Moving at the beginning of the chapter. That's part of it. It's probably that and like chapter time nonsense. Hey! Looks like 
You never understood people that toast their pop tarts? Isn't isn't that what the pop is for? You pop them in the toaster. <laughs> That's like the intended way to do it. As for me, it depends on the kind. I put mine in the microwave. Okay, I think we found a common enemy there. <laughs> we found a common enemy. The microwave? I don't know, I guess I've never tried it. That can't be good though. Nah, you don't need to ban anybody for Pop-Tart opinions, even if it is really funny. You're allowed to have your Pop-Tart opinions. I don't know, maybe it's really good to microwave the Pop-Tarts. I, I kind of, I might try it, just to see. Funny, Two. cause that's just where you're going. Three. This guy gave you trouble, Spider? Please. Yeah, well, <laughs> I was young. This guy does not want to be comboed. I've dropped About four combos to him. That shield is really getting on my nerves. Oh, I'm gonna figure out a way to... If only all my problems could be settled with flashy climactic battles. But for pop, I think for, I think the real answer for pop tarts is it depends. Like you toast the s'mores ones, you freeze the cookie. Uh, what are they called? Not cookie dough. Cookies and cream. And then almost everything else eat normal. Mary Jane's play. We are back to being green again. I kind of expected knowing this run but now I got a game to keep it up she killed my combo I was gonna web yank him, but she punched me out of it. Uh oh. Uh. What do I do? Okay, that's fine. I said my famous catchphrase there. I've been trying not to say that as much. I was trying so hard there. <laughs> that was pure gaming. Is Cat right? Do I really have to give up Peter Parker to be Spider-Man? What about the people in my life? It isn't like anyone ever sees me now. MJ. No matter how hard it is, I can't abandon my friend. So... 
What? Do I quit being... Yeah, but no. I can't quit either. I help so many people. I can't give up being Peter Parker. But I can't give up being Spider-Man either. Uh-oh. I'm in I no man's land. Now. There's nothing I can do right now. I should track down Black Cat. I need to have a talk with us. Jumping in the water does do skip the dialogue. I can balance both. I kind of high-key think I need to lab that, though, because I feel like there's a way better way to do it than that. That was so good for so long. No, map does not skip that dialogue. Map dialogue skip only works on Black Cat and only in those situations where she like stops like that. Crazy. Things could never work out. What about the danger? Must Would be nice though. I think map dialogue skip was found first. At least she still has hair. Yeah, Harry's been a much better friend than I'll ever be. I'm no good friend to anyway. She's better off with what's his name. Oh, okay, I guess I should be happy because I saved time, but I really wanted that glide before it got stopped. Hang on, I know what to do. Mary Jane must hate me for sleeping. I've never gone this way. I don't know what happens. Oh wait, okay, I, I recognize where I am. I need to apologize to MJ next time I see her. I'm in pure try-hard mode right now. Okay, let me swing on something. It's funny because I'm not nervous, I'm just like really concentrated for some reason. Good fight. Now I'm slightly nervous, but like not in a bad way. Please be okay, Mary Jane. I even got the super ultra glide there. That's the new name of that. That's one. Your How many of these things does he have begun. scattered around this place? Not there. That's unfortunate. I think I got frame trapped. I pressed the button. Huh. 
Great. What would an out-of-control fusion reaction be without bursts of plasma? The reactor doesn't seem to be responding. <sighs> I wanted to run that so bad. I can't let you do this. No, I don't want to dodge. Come on. All right. Let's see. This can do it. This can do it. Uh, well, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Ah, come back here, man. Is he just stuck? <laughs> Goofball. Fuck this guy. <laughs> okay, that's still a really good run. It's still a really good run. What have we done? Look at look at this run. What have I done? This is what, what are these splits? <laughs> Dr. Octavius, we have to stop that reaction. Three golds, it's like up, down, down, gold, uh down, gold, up down, gold, down, up, up, down. <laughs> My hubris, my vanity cost Rosie her life. Now I must set things right. Took you for a ride though, right? That's, I think, the third best run I've ever done? Yeah. Or wait. Fourth. But still. <laughs> Consider getting four golds. I know, right? If I had just gotten four golds, it probably would have PB'd. They died. Rip. I'm surprised I saved time in Chapter 14 hey, that run, because... Welcome to part two. If you check your to-do list, you'll see that that's hard. <laughs> that that's a good split that I beat. Honestly, I don't know if you're gonna be able to cut it, but give it a shot. Um, hey, yeah, I could super do this. This can be done. Uh, one more. I I could do more. Right, let's do some more. At least one more good one, right? No we can run it back. Let's run it back. How much did Summa best move? I'm kind of curious about that too, because I don't remember what it was before. Like gold did chapter th six, eight, and eleven. Okay, so I went down four seconds. That's pretty good. Uh, let me update my best times. Save the splits just in case, and let's run it back. Uh, in chapter 11, I just had a really good bank and good movement. And I feel like that was kind of it. I would say the thing that I did better than ever before was probably the movement from the train to uh, to race 12 or whatever it's called. I think it's race 12. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, sequel time already, huh? Welcome back, I guess. I'm late, Daniel. You missed a banger run, but I might just have another one for you. You're gonna have to wait and see. Uh, before we go any further, I think it might be a good idea to save your progress. Fastest I've done skipping tutorial. I don't really know. I don't. I don't look at the timer during it anymore. I used to. The first time I like, whenever I don't like do this consistently, but a place where I often check the timer is after pressing the token. So to meet with uh, Harry and Mary Jane. Other than, and um, after our gallery. Other than that, I just I don't really look at the timer until it's time to split. Spider-Man's here already. Ooh. 
that like gave me whiplash. How did I? Where, where did that height come from? <laughs> Give that another go. This is the banger run I alluded. I uh, alluded. Um, what's the word? Spoke about earlier. But let's be real, that run not PBing well, kind of sick in the narrative, right? right? Welcome back, I guess. For those of you who are not aware, PBs are so much more cool when you have to grind for them for a while, and when you get some clo some like close runs that you can take revenge for. Uh, before we go any further, I think it might be a good idea to save your. We're just building the narrative. You can call it that. Just go to the pause menu and bring up the save load. Easy, right? And do it. Oh no, Dr. Connor's class. I got so caught up in what I was doing, I forgot all about it. It's gonna kill me. I can't believe I'm running so late. Still, I should be able to make it as long as. Help me! Would have been molding. Right on cue. I was almost there. Eventually, you're in. Like, Sorry, I don't know. At least for me, from my perspective. Eventually, you're in it for the journey and the destination. So, you start to mind stuff like this less and less. Because my favorite PBs are, like, always the ones where there's a journey to get there. Instead of me just, like, getting it right away. I think this might be a good time for you to check your to-do list. It'll show you the white dot on your map here and the white destination marker are both pointing And also like you know I do this for fun so <laughs> kind of just means more fun You got to look at it that way It's funny, I was talking earlier about um, how Doc Ock hadn't, Final Doc Ock hadn't really taken any runs from me recently, but there's one. To be fair, that chapter 15 is my gold, so like, it's gonna be hard to beat. But that run could have done it. Which is exciting. Man, that cake was good. I'm stuck. I better burn off some calories or I won't fit in my costume. You want anything from 7 Eleven? All the money in the cash register. I can't even remember Please. the last time I Thank you. Oh no. At my birthday dinner, I promised MJ I would meet her this evening. Just I like, you know, what they have. If they don't have any, that's fine. I can't believe I ran off like that. I must be out of my mind. Thank you, Spider Man, buddy. Lucky for you, I pull my punches. Oh my god, this guy is a goofball. I got that in. Oh, what a bonk. What a bonk. I did all the hard stuff in that fight and then kind of fucked up on the easy stuff. <laughs> that was really. That was what a weird fight. <laughs> I did the like super hard swing slow, slow mo tech. And then I bonked my head three times in last time. Yo, it's Mew. I also love this game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a sign that that run is not meant to be. I'm telling you, I got 
at least one more good one in me tonight. Which basically means well, another run that gets to chapter already, seven. Huh? Welcome back, I guess. First things first. Uh, before we go any further, I think it might be a good idea to save your progress. Got the last two chapters. Call it that. Got a pretty cool part of the run. Bring up the save load Easy, right? I think that run was really cool. If you only knew. Honestly. It like any oh, no. anything that's, that's like a 53 flat. or lower is like yeah, damn what I was doing I forgot all about it. believe I'm running so late you get to a point where it's like this shit's hard so like if I can even get a 53 that's cool by itself sorry I really don't have time for this it is funny that I have a 52 but by one second <laughs> Camera really didn't know what to do there. Fortunately, it fixed itself pretty quick. Hi, my name. Maybe I can still make it before class ends. I think this might be a good time for you to check your to do. The white dot on your map here and the white destination marker are both pointing you to the key. This this is why I'm saying that over there at some point no rush. If you're like a speedrunner that rages, it's really about expectations. I super believe that. Not that you're not allowed to rage, because sometimes raging can be really cathartic, but like you just gotta go in with like positive attitude. I fucking hate that I'm saying that unironically, because, like, I really don't like life ad in general, life advice that's like, oh, just have a good attitude about all the bullshit that's happening to you is, in my opinion, often not helpful. But is kind of true for speedrunning. good <laughs> Oh, that sprint glitch there looks so cool. Raccoon ran past your window. Good. That sounds awesome. I better burn off some calories or I won't fit in my costume anymore. I like love raccoons, but I'm also kind of afraid of them. At my birthday dinner, I promised MJ I would meet her this evening. One time back when I was I was in college, I was um you know, you had to take your your garbage uh down to the garbage bin outside and it was like around a corner. I must be out of my mind. And so it's like 2 3 in the morning and I I'm I'm bringing my garbage downstairs cuz I never liked to bring I don't know, I didn't like to walk past people with garbage during the daytime, because I was like, I don't want you to smell my garbage, I don't know. I was like, I don't want to be, like, stinky around other people. So I was, it was like 3 in the morning, I'm going to bring my garbage out. And I hear what I thought, I thought somebody was, like, in the little building where you go to put the garbage. And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine, I'll just go in. And I go in and I say, hi. So much for you. And turning over, like with its back face to me, it's like it like turns over its shoulder, is is like four raccoons that are just like digging through like a, an open garbage bag on the ground. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> what's up, guys? <laughs> and in my mind, I was like, I am not walking. I'm not like leaving. So, I just fucking chucked my garbage bag into the garbage bin from like twelve feet away, and actually, and I I made it in. But I was like, I don't want to approach these raccoons. What if they just like jump at me? Because I'm like, I'm terrified of rabies as as a concept. I'm like, I don't want to deal with this. Raccoons did not say hi back. They just kind of looked at me, and I threw the garbage bin, and they didn't move, and then I left. They were really cute though, and in, in, in hindsight, they were fucking adorable. But I was scared. <laughs>
your vaccines, so you should be fine if you have them already. I don't think that's how rabies works. I could be wrong, like, I don't want to sp spread misinformation, but I think if you get bit by a rabid animal, you, ha the you have to get the vaccine after you get bit. You and within, like, 24 hours, or you're dead. Your grandma. Now that's something I'd like That's to what I remember being told. If she gets much farther, I'm gonna lose her completely. Is you have like 24 hours to get to get to like a doctor to get that figured out after you get bit by an animal with rabies. Yeah, you have to speedrun it. Not that I thought those those raccoons had rabies. But you know, it was in the back of my mind. Yeah, you have to do it before you get symptoms. Like once you have symptoms, you're just hey, you're done. You're done, son. So I can talk to you. Slow down? Yeah, right. If you can't keep up, go home. Who was with that girl? Who was she? You know this chapter opening reminds me of something. Symptoms show you're a gamer? Is that one of the symptoms of rabies? Oh no. Chapter starts. Aha. Next time you have a chance. Visit the store and check out what they've got. Better change the teleport around. Hi, Pete. I think that's the Speaking of being afraid of getting, like, diseases and stuff, when I was a kid, my dad explained tetanus very poorly to me, and I was under the impression that touching any metal that could rust, whether it did or not, could give you tetanus. <laughs> just touching it. And so I just, like, would avoid metal in my day-to-day -day life. Became like a druid for a little bit. Yeah, like not even that it is <laughs> is rusted, just like it has the potential to, therefore. You have a pet raccoon? Real? If so, that's neat. I have enough Could get Tetris. I wish I had gotten Tetris at a young age. I, I didn't discover how cool that game is until later. I haven't played Tetris in years, though. Hi, Pete. How are you? I think I streamed Tetris, like, twice. Years ago. Way, way long ago. I don't even know what just happened. I'm starting to see why yeah. rhinos are endangered. Yeah. It's so much harder to do slide cancels on that side. Find a safer line of work. <laughs> like that's so much easier. I think we're we're locked in as this with this for the final run of the day. Cuz it's pretty decent. Like I said, up through chapter 7, keeping pace with PB is like really good. That means it's a really good run. <laughs>
<laughs> you could never beat. That's funny. You got like stuck on Rhino, and now you just see that. That was like your next exposure. It's a pretty funny concept. I don't know what to do there. I'm not sure if there was much to do. That swing was just that bad. You're a much better SM2 player because of me. Glad to hear it. But it's also your own efforts. But me too. You can you can thank me too. I won't say no. Hey kid, how you making out? Listen, I got a new job for you to do, okay? There's these things called photo op tokens that I want you to find. I've marked them on your map just to spell it out real plain for you. The briefcase goof. I've been meaning to confirm that it happens on Xbox, like, hardware as well. I mean, I'm positive it does, but I'd like to see it with my own eyes. Maybe after this run, if I remember. Press X to access. <laughs> it must be like on a timer or something, because it always goes away then. I love access glitch. It's like such a fun completely inconsequential glitch that just kind of happens every once in a while doing great. Just a little farther. you do know I'm chasing you right Close the gap. Oh. No, just okay, just just pick a surface. Not enough height either. All right, <laughs> that was just not great, but it happens. All right, let's go see the briefcase glitch, huh? To round out the night. Let's go see it. Never heard that line before. I hear a lot of different lines now that the strats are different because the lines play based on like how far away you are from her. Biggest accomplishment on the channel. Depends on the angle you take it from because if it's like as a YouTuber then it's probably one of the edited videos. Well, but if it's as a speedrunner Welcome back, I guess. Then it's like sure you miss me more than I miss. First things first. either sub one hour or just whatever the most recent PB is. And if it's as a streamer, then it's ironically maybe the Mythbusters stream. It might be a good idea to save your progress, if you could call it that. Just go to the pause menu and bring up the save load screen. 
And if it's as a, just a player, a Spider-Man 2 player... Honestly, it's still the speedrun, but oh, Swingless no. is also... The fact that I figured out how to do that myself is pretty neat. Alright. Take a look at this. Right on cue. I was almost wait. There too. Sorry, Dr. Connors. The briefcase isn't here. Oh wait, there it is. Never mind. <laughs> it blended into the wall. There it is. You know what I want to do? Where? Is... Okay, so how long do you think it would take to push this briefcase to Doc Ock's warehouse? And because there's a railing that doesn't have collision there, and I get the feeling this is an NPC. I bet you could get this to fall into the water if you pushed it onto that railing. I think it would take legitimately like 45 minutes, roughly, maybe like closer to a half an hour to get it there. But that'd be pretty funny, right? Does moving the briefcase have any effect on the NPCs? As far as I can tell, no. Like, it should just. You, you, wait, you saw her there in the establishing shot? She was standing there. So that is her. But then she just snaps to place in the cutscene. So, maybe if I ever have an extra hour to spare on a stream, we can do that. Yeah, as you can see, she's here in the reef case. Should not be here anymore. Yeah. Spider-Man. Got a video of you knocking it into the air? How did you knock it into the air? Did you just uppercut it? Hang on. Actually, I don't have time for this. <laughs> or do I? We can, we can check it out. Check the server. Did you just uppercut it, though? Let me see. You just like pushed it and it just kind of happened. Well, sequel time already, huh? That's so odd. Back, I guess. Okay, so this the briefcase seems to not really have anyway, gravity. Have here since last time, so they me huh. I'll I'll mess around with that later. For now, I'm wrapping up. Um It was a very fun stream. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh you know, it's something I've been meaning to do. I'll do it later. Uh, thank you to all the channel members. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. I had a great time. And I'll probably be back, unless something changes um, tomorrow or Saturday. I'll probably be back Sunday is the plan. 80% chance. We have it works when you swing thank you to all the channel members too. wish list the void calls links is in the description and i'll see ya peace Thank you.